I feel like I'm going insane. Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. I just wanted to provide an update because I know I kind of left everyone at a cliffhanger for my quitting Kratom vlogs. But basically, here's what happened. I went to detox and my plan was originally to just detox off Kratom and then return to my normal life here in New York. But while I was in detox, I was convinced to continue treatment and basically do rehab in California, in Newport Beach. So that's where I've been for the past 40 plus days. But I think what I'm here to say is that sobriety is fucking hard. I feel like I'm going insane. I, I think I'm gonna continue this vlog and just like sort of continue what it's like to like be off Kratom and like the cravings and everything because my cravings are like 10 out of 10 right now. And I had to call the rehab clinical director and just, I was walking and I was passing a smoke shop just now like three hours ago and I called her because I was like, I think I'm gonna pick up. And I also wanna talk about a relapse that I had. So right now I'm about, like I wanna say I'm sober, but I don't know if that's what it looks like because I relapsed this past Friday. So right now it's June 14th. I relapsed on June 10th. So I'm on day four. But before that, I had 43 days clean. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm sober or I'm not. I don't know. So I want to talk about the relapse that happened. Just because it, it was so... It was like... It just happened so quick. So what happened was my plan was to go to rehab out in California. That's where my parents live as well. And I was going to go out and visit my parents afterward and stay with them for a couple weeks or something just to get some more clean time. And I knew I wasn't going to use it when I was with them. But what happened was my sister was apartment sitting for me. There was a lot of rain and my basement flooded twice. And it's like all sewage water. So the first time that it happens, my sister's able to clean it up and like, thank God, feel for her. But the second time it happened, it was like the day before. I was done with my 30 days in rehab. I needed to come back because I needed to like basically crisis manage this flood. So I come back and there's contractors working. I sleep on like an air mattress in my upstairs portion and everything's just like a mess. So the contractors are working and the relapse happened when they left. They're done with their job and I go downstairs and I look at the situation. There's sewage water everywhere still. And I'm like, fuck, this could be easier if I were on Kratom. And I'm like, no. Well, like, I'm talking to myself now, right? Like, I'm, like, arguing to myself. I'm like, no, 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 no. You have so many days. You already have so many days. And you don't want to fuck this up. Blah, 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 But eventually, this, like, alter ego of, like, a fiend comes out. And, like, okay, now that I've been to rehab, it's, like, okay, it's my diseases. So, I guess, like, my diseases take over. And, like, I'm just so focused all of a sudden on getting Kratom. And nothing can stop me. And I speed walk to the smoke shop that I go to usually. And I even, like, haggle with them to, like, get the price down and stuff and I come back and I'm like okay I'll just drink like a cup or two so a cup or like I put like three grams each in each cup so I was like okay I just have like six grams like whatever and I just couldn't stop so I ended up like drinking Kratom while I was cleaning up sewage water and it was like fucking awesome like it was like the first time ever drinking Kratom and I end up like just doing it until I went to bed which is pretty much like my old habit. It's like my MO. So I probably drank like 15 to 20 grams. And then at the end of the day, I started like nodding out and I'm like, oh fuck, this is awesome. It's like, I never, I used to like, what am I saying? Anyway, it's just like great. <laughs> so at the end of the night, I don't want to stop. And clearly I can't control, I can't moderate. So like I'm nodding out and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw it away. And luckily I had the willpower and the plan. Well, like, I, I luckily I just did it. I don't know what it was, but like I just did it. I opened it up, I poured the powder into the garbage can, and then I took the trash out because I was like, I wouldn't put it past me to take out the powder from the trash can another day. So that happened. And so I'm on day four of being clean again, and I'm going insane. Sobriety is like really fucking hard right now. And the fact that I drank the Kratom and then abstained the next day and the next day and the next day for three days, the mental gymnastics going on in my brain are very much in the vein of okay well you use that day and then you didn't use the next day and the next so like maybe you can moderate maybe you can do this but it's so stupid because normal people don't need to like throw out their entire supply every time they like do a drug or whatever so <laughs> i'm just posting this because i'm like going kind of crazy yes so the reason yeah it's just cravings i just have like major cravings I'm super anxious like i forgot how hyper vigilant i was before i started using kratom because it's been like over a year, maybe two. So that's where I am now. <laughs> and coming up, I really do want to do a video on detox as well as the rehab. So I think I'm gonna continue this vlog. I think I already said that. But yeah, that's it for now. So I'm clean. I mean, yeah, I'm clean. I think I'm clean. I don't know, man.
I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say I have 47 days sober and one relapse. Make of that what you will. Anyway, so I'm gonna go. I've been doing NA meetings through Zoom every day, so I have one in 40 minutes. So really, I'm just trying to make it through today and we'll see what tomorrow brings. I think I will make it through today. Anyway, that's an update. I'll see y'all later. Bye.